Hey guys, welcome to another home lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be talking and showing you how to set up Dozzle. Um, so Dozzle is a, a nice um, application that I found um, that essentially kind of just GUIs um, Docker log. So if you ever, you know, have have a Docker container or have a lot of Docker containers and you want to know what logs are outputting from it or um, from your multiple different containers, it's a very easy way to be able to set it up, go into your browser and essentially just click and see logs in your in, in a GUI without having to type out all the doc commands and then try to pause, figure out which log you're trying to look at and then go to like a different log. This one is an easy way to kind of just do it. So if you do Dockerize your environment or have multiple different Docker containers that you want to easily check logs for, this is maybe a solution for you. So. This video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content, want to sponsor me, or send me some free swagger hardware, my email is in the description below. So, okay, let's get started, guys. All right. So, um, essentially, we will SSH into one of our current existing servers that is running Docker. Um, so we'll, we'll actually SSH to our GitLab runner um, because we, we definitely are running that as a Docker container service. So here we go. Let's log in here real quick. Docker PSA. So you can see that our GitLab runner has been run. Oh, <laughs> Docker has been running for quite a bit. And you can easily tail logs in Docker. Um, you can just do Docker logs F, and then I'm gonna just do tail to grab the last hundred and then the name of the runner. You can also use the container ID. Um, and you can see how you know there are these logs that essentially you can watch and tail in the goo in in uh, your your CLI. Now this isn't too bad when you only have like one Docker container running, but imagine you had like twenty on one machine, and then you would have to like essentially run the same command over over multiple different <laughs> um, Docker container names. So an easy solution, and let me get out of that, is actually to utilize Dozzle. So Dazzle was another fun find that I found on the self-hosted subreddit. Um, it's pretty pretty cool, like the amount of stuff that I that you can just find on the on the self-hosted Reddit. Um, so if you are looking for more self-hosted ideas, go check it out. Um, but essentially, it just is what it just shows right here, where you can actually look at the logs and figure it out. So we will get started here and let's switch it to Docker so my eyes don't die. So there's two ways that you can do this. You can just run the Docker command or you can run with Docker Compose. So in this case, we'll use Docker Compose just to just to show you. Um, the Docker command will work the exact same way, um, but I like Docker Compose just because it's easier to read ultimately. So we'll do Docker Compose.yaml and we will copy and paste what they have. So essentially, we create a service called Dazo, and the container name is Dazo, grabs the Dazo image that was created by the person, it mounts the Docker socket to the Docker socket in the container. So this is the way that knows what containers are actually running um, on your machine. If you, if you don't mount it, it essentially has no image. And then it will map the web GUI that's running on 8080 to 99999, four nines. I know, I know, I know, I lost count um, before nines, mainly because this makes it easy so that you don't overlap the port on the on the um, server to be you know 8080 that's already running, right? So we will leave, we'll save that. Um, and I don't have Docker Compose installed on this box, so give me one second. We will get Docker Compose installed. Um, we'll just grab it from the GitHub uh, Compose repository, and then we will just make sure it is executable chmod plus x user user local bin doc compose and then we can just do docker compose up and then detach so it'll pull the image download and then set up the network and everything so now if we do a ps dash a we can see that in addition to the gitlab runner that we can see that this also got kicked off on 99999 dude i'm never going to remember how many <laughs> Um, get lab, get lab runner dragon top local. There you go. And you can see that essentially it gave the same web GUI that we got when, when we went to the page. So, um, first things first, um, I saw that there was a doc mode. Is there a doc mode here? Color scheme doc. All right. See, they know what they're talking about. Doc mode. Easy. 
And you can also see where there is mem usage um, for the containers, how many total containers are running, and like the CPU usage. So you can see it for the Dazzle container too, as well as the GitLab runner. So you can see that there's a decent amount of logs here. Um, take a look at here. Oh, you can you can scroll, skip a few entries. Okay, okay. So you can you can see that there are a decent amount of logs. So um, let's clear. Oh, I, it might be still downloading, grabbing all the logs. Give it a second. There you go. Now, now it grabbed all the logs. So we can see that it, it grabbed all the logs from where it was. So we'll actually clear. Can we can we actually clear all of it? Maybe maybe the clear doesn't do it at what what I'm expecting. But you can you can also download it. Um, you can search. Looks like there's a search function for for logs. Um, show all output streams. Okay, so um, a thing that we could do is actually um, just kick off a job. Just kind of just show you how the logs that that you know like logs appear and whatnot. So um, let's just go to pipelines here and run pipeline. So this should essentially kick off a new job and the GitLab runner should see it and essentially it should check for another job. So um, we can take a look at the timestamps right here. This was yesterday and you can see actually in real time that it's actually spawning the job right now um, because it's 7.45 p.m. right now my time. And you can see that it actually just shows. So essentially it's actually really pretty, pretty much real time. It really just grabs the logs that would essentially appear when you run it. So. Oh, and you can look at other things too. Containers that may not have ran or something. So there's a lot of other things that you guys can look at. So make sure you play around with it. If you like it, um, go download it, see what you can find and essentially what, what kind of logs that you can look for. Easy way to look at logs and logs are always the hardest thing to actually troubleshoot. So. Being able to see them easier makes it a lot easier to troubleshoot. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.